Hi, I'm Patrick from Patrick's Workshop. Today I'm gonna do some awesome bandsaw upgrades. Stay tuned. This is my 14 inch bandsaw. Today we're gonna start by removing the covers, lower and uppers, put them aside, and then we're gonna loosen the tension and remove the blade. Slide the blade off instead of the side. Now that I got the blade off, I'm gonna start this process by changing out the tension handle. I bought this new handle called the Black Jack Quick Tensioning Handle. It's a lot longer and has a better handle that'll stick above the bandsaw. Let's go ahead and remove the old one. We'll install this one real quick. It's really easy, you just gotta unscrew this one like this. Pull out the old one, and I'll open the new one up right now. It comes with a two nuts, and the plastic thing on the end to protect the threads, which is cool. I'll start by undoing these nuts. It comes with two nuts, but you only want to use the one nut that fits your saw. Now it's pretty simple, we just put this nut in the bottom. and tighten her up. Simple as that now. Now I got a handle above it to tighten and loosen the tension. First upgrade complete. Part two, we're gonna change out the bandsaw tires. It's pretty easy as well. I got some new polyurethane bandsaw tires, which I'll be installing right now. First step, let's remove the old tires, which is really easy. I'm going to use a little bit of spray cleaner on a rag. Now that both wheels are clean, I will install these new tires. I know when you go to install fresh new tires that they're not gonna just fit without a hassle. So the best way to do this is to heat these up somehow. I will show you that right now how I do it. Now you don't need to boil the water, you just need to heat it up so it's really hot warm. And then I'm gonna take my tire, I'm gonna set it in the water, and then when it's hot, I will take it out and install it right on to the wheel. Once you get your tire on, you wanna make sure it's on completely so that there's kind of a crown to it. Both sides will be inside the aluminum wheel. Now for the lower tire. We'll start by heating it up in the water, taking it out, shaking it off when it's hot, and right away installing it onto the wheel. Then I slide my finger along the sides of it to get it into the actual tire, the rim. And now you have a nice clean crown so you're done with this tire, and it looks good. Just wipe off the water, and you're good to install the blade. Now that the new tires are on, I'm going to install my new blade. Now to get started in installing my new blade, I want to remove my table. Now with the table removed, I want to reset all my bearings back so they're out of the way when I install the blade. Now that all my bearing guides and supports are out of the way, I'm going to install the new blade. This is a half inch, 93 and a half inch, 3 TPI Carter blade. Installing the blade over the top wheel first, then on the left side, sliding it in between the safety guard. And then on the right side, you want to put it in between the bearings and then at the same time, slide it underneath the lower wheel. Now that you have the blade installed, we can go ahead and adjust the tension and the tracking. First. While it's still loose, you want to tighten it up until you start feeling tension. And then as you feel tension beginning, you want to rotate the blade the way it would spin clockwise. And then you want to adjust the tracking. 
Adjust the blade to the gullets in the center of your tire on the wheel. And then you want to keep tightening the blade until you're adjusted to the tension that's recommended by your saw. Now that I have my blade tensioned correctly, we can adjust the guide bearings. I start by moving the bearings forward and then setting the bearing an eighth inch behind the gullet. Then I tighten down the two 10 millimeter bolts. And then I squeeze the actual bearings together, touching the blade and tighten the thumb screws. Now I do the same thing for the upper. I move the bearing forward, I tighten them down, and then I squeeze those bearings together and tighten the thumb screws as well. Bring my attention to the back bearings. I slide those towards the blade and then I screw the thumb screws down and lock them into position with a pair of pliers. That holds them securely. And now the blade and the bearings are all set up. Now that the blade is tracking correctly and the bearings are all set up properly, we may now install our table. Now that the table's on, we can go ahead and put on the covers. Now with the covers installed, I'll reinstall my auxiliary table I use. Now to test this thing out, I'm going to rip down some thin strips of pine here. It's working great. Well that works great. My new blade, my new tires, and my new handle sure made it nice to adjust this thing. Cuts very very well. Now I'm happy. Now we can get some work done in the shop. Now I'm ready to rip down some real wood, not just pine. Well I hope you enjoyed this Banzal tune up and upgrade video. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you come back for the next build. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I got more awesome content on the way. Tool upgrades, tool builds, awesome projects. Be on the lookout for that. Please like this video and smash that thumbs up button. Check me out on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. Check me out over there. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Please share this video with your friends. That's all I got for this week. I thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time, I'm out. For another method of changing the tire, check out Braxton Worthland's channel. I'll have a link for his YouTube channel down in the description. You can see his video of how he changed his tires on his 14-inch bandsaw as well. Go check that out. Link in the description. I got this blade from my good friend Russ Clarity. He has a YouTube channel called Simply Wooden Creation. I'll leave his link down in the description. Go check him out. Thanks for the blade, Russ.